Hey guys, what's up? This is Professor Ron with OneHourProfessor.com. Uh, and today I am here to explain to you how much money you can make with Google AdSense. And uh, I've got a special guest today. That is Peyton, my little cat. Uh, and she's here to help me today. But uh, on a more serious note, um, I'm here to tell you about uh, Google AdSense. And I think it's important to say, uh, if you're not familiar with me, if you go to OneHourProfessor.com, um, I actually have income reports that uh, explain how much I make every single month with online business in general. Um, and I'm right around $20,000 per month. It's not all from Google AdSense, but a good chunk of it is. Uh, so I think if you're interested in that, you can check out the YouTube card here, here to go over that. But anyway, let's get back to Google AdSense and what we're, what we're supposed to talk about here today. So first off, how much money can you make with Google AdSense? Um, we're gonna go ahead and minimize me here. And you can actually see this right here. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to say too, some of this is blurred out um, because I can't actually disclose how much I make per thousand visitors, how much per click. Granted, this information is for all of my websites for all time. You can see that over here. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page just so that you know that I'm not being shady and like, oh, this guy's just using a screenshot or something weird. If you look, I'm refreshing the page and again, the same data. So far I have made $329,301.91 on Google AdSense. Um, that's in total, that's since, well, the, the date range goes all the way from back to 2011, but we're looking at, really it's, it's right at around the start of January 2016 um, is done it. I'd grown over time. Um, this isn't something that happens overnight. You can see the graph. Um, I can actually scroll over these to show you some of the data to it. Uh, and you can see how every month, this is, this is all broken down by month as to how much I'm making. Um, now I'm actually making a little bit less and I'm okay with that. I actually found other ways to monetize on my websites that I have. Um, but it really, and you're, I will say too, you're gonna see me looking over here on the video. Don't get weirded out by that. I'm looking at notes, I have dual screens. Um, but really it is, I make around 10 to 12, 10 to $12,000 per month now. Um, I'll actually break it down to this year for you. Uh, they don't have this year. So let me, let me put this in here. And we'll go to, we'll just go to eight one. So you can actually see this year and I know right here we have a huge drop off, but that's because of, um, you know, it's not the full month, but you can see here, January, I'm making, you know, 12,000, 10,000, 11, 11, almost 12, 11. So it right around 10 to $12,000 a month. Um, now that comes out to on average, it comes out to roughly about 400 hours per day during the week, a little bit less on the weekends. Uh, but that's to give you an idea of well, what does that number mean? So usually like between three to 400 hours a day. Now, AdSense itself, Google AdSense, it is relevant on both YouTube uh, channels and on websites. Now my wife, I will say she is a social media influencer. Um, she has a YouTube channel and in the past, uh, it was making right around $5,000 a month with Google AdSense. So you can make a ton of money with Google AdSense on YouTube. Uh, this video is not about the YouTube AdSense. Um, the reason is, is because although I will end up making some money with Google AdSense just through this video here, um, it's a content treadmill. It's not really something I'm too much of a fan of because you have to create, keep creating content hope that it goes viral, then the video kind of dies and you have to do it again, do it again, do it again. That's not really what I love doing. Um, what I really like doing is making websites. So this video is focused on Google AdSense for websites, um, but the information is relevant if you have a YouTube channel as well. Uh, so really AdSense in general, um, if you came here wondering how much does, you know, how much can you make on AdSense, you probably understand how Google AdSense works. Um, but there is a chance that you don't understand how it works. So what I want to do here is I want to actually, I'm going to pause the video for a second and I'm going to pull up a website that has Google AdSense on it so that you can actually see, actually, I won't even pull up. I'm sorry. I won't, I won't pause it. We'll, we'll just go to my website. Uh, so we'll go to one and actually we'll go into the income reports page. So I told you if you want to one you can go to income reports and you can see a lot of the data. Um, but right here is kind of what Google AdSense is. So I do have Google AdSense on this website. It doesn't make me much at all, you guys. It makes like, I don't even know, like five, six dollars a month, something like that, uh, which, hey, it's a cup of coffee, right? But this is Google AdSense, right? If you don't fully understand what it is, this is Google AdSense. And I've got an ad unit there, and that was a gross picture of my arm surgery that I just had. 
And I think I actually only have one ad unit on these. Um, so that's what Google AdSense is. Basically, sum it all up. Somebody comes to your website, let's say that somebody's reading my, my June income report and they're like, oh, cool. And then, okay, so I do have two ad units. They see here and they're like, oh, cool. And they click on this and I'm not gonna do that because I could get myself in trouble. But if they click on this, then I make some money. Not a ton of money. It's like a quarter, 30 cents, you know, 20 cents, 10 cents. It just depends on what your niche is. And then you do that um, and you make a little bit of money. Now, the interesting thing, when we go back to Google AdSense here, is that when you do that, uh, multiple times per day, then you're able to make a substantial amount of money. Um, I can't really show you all the clicks and everything, uh, but it's safe to say I get, you know, with the amount of earnings that I'm getting, um, I get a pretty good amount of clicks, somewhere between, we'll keep it vague, one to 2,000 clicks a day across all of my websites, not any specific one, across all my websites. And that's the amount of money that I make. Um, so it, there is a lot of money to be made, but you got to understand that it's small amounts. It's minute amounts. It's like, oh, here's a quarter, here's a quarter, here's a quarter. And it's pretty cool because throughout the day, you're collecting, you know, a thousand, two thousand quarters. And by the end of the day, you're making a lot of money. So that's how Google AdSense actually works. People go here, they do it and they click and then they read it um, or they, they click and then you make a little bit of money. If you're interested in fully understanding how Google AdSense really works, how the pays work, how, how you know, the pay structure really in more detail, you can click on the YouTube card above, which again, I don't know which side it's on yet, uh, but click on the YouTube card and that will actually bring you to another video that I did that really explains this in, in full detail. So how do I increase my earning power with Google AdSense? Or, or rather, how do you increase your earning, at, or your earning power on Google AdSense? Um, basically, I'm going to create a full new video on this uh, that just talks about how to optimize your content. Well, not how to optimize your content, but how to optimize your earnings. Um, by the time that you watch this video, I'm not even sure if it's out. So if it is out, it's right here up on the card right now. You can go ahead and check out that video. If it's not up yet, then just wait a little longer, subscribe. I'm creating a playlist just for Google AdSense to help all you guys with this. Uh, but there's really four pointers that I have to increase your earning power with Google AdSense. Um, number one is you have to pick the right niche, okay? Um, one of the things to understand about AdSense is that it's really based off of advertisers. So if you have a website that is about um, a totally random thing about uh, cotton balls, right? And it's a website all about cotton balls and it talks about the best cotton balls out there and it, you know, for, with makeup and things, it just talks about cotton balls. There's not a lot of people advertising for that, right? For obvious reasons. But if you create a different website and uh, that website is about um, beauty products, for instance, so not just the cotton balls, but all the beauty products around it, there's a lot of advertisers. The second option is much better because that second option, there's a lot of advertisers, therefore the cost or the, the advertising cost is higher. So that means that every time that somebody clicks on one of your ads, you make more money. Okay, so that's the first thing is pick the right niche. Second is test, test, test. You have to test this stuff. Um, if you don't test how much you're going to be making, uh, or if you don't test different layouts and test different uh, ad units and that sort of thing, you're never gonna really fully realize your potential to how much you can make with Google AdSense. Um, I've always been a big advocate of testing. I will throw an ad unit on, I will take it off, I'll throw a different ad unit on, I'll test and test and test. I'll compare over time to see what the best ad units are. And then once I know what they are, I will publish them indefinitely. And then I'll go with that as a best, um, as a best practice across my whole website. Uh, next is don't be afraid to put more than one ad on a page at a time. I see this a lot actually. People say, well, I can't put more than one ad on my page because if I do that, then it's gonna panel, penalize me for SEO and Google will uh, penalize me. Not true in my experience. Um, not to say it can't happen, uh, but you can even see here, I've got two uh, ad units on the top. To be honest though, to be completely honest with you, this particular website, my one hour professor website, it isn't um, like SEO wise really, really focused on that. It's just something that I have followers on because I've been doing this for such a long time, about, well, about five years now. Um, so this particular website isn't making a lot with it, but you can put ad units. I wouldn't recommend that you stack them one on top of the other, uh, but you can put an ad unit, then put, you know, three, four, five, you know, paragraphs, if you will, then another ad unit. I wouldn't recommend doing that for the whole page, um, but you can put, I usually put like three or four ad units on a page because you, under, you gotta understand, like people may scroll and go past those in the beginning, um, and then they're getting deeper into the page and then they can click on an ad which actually brings me to my next point, which is always realize 
that you need to focus on a mobile first experience, okay? Most people, when they're at your website, usually probably about 70, 75% of people, um, depending on your website, it always, always is a little different, but usually most of the people are coming on mobile. So when you're on mobile, what are you doing? You're, you're clicking and you're scrolling, right? This is what you're doing. This is the motion. We all know that motion. You're just scrolling on a page. You gotta remember that people can accidentally click on an ad when they do that. And they think, they click and they think, oh shoot, I gotta go back. They click back, but you got paid. So it's not like it's a tricky thing, but it's something to realize that accidental clicks, especially on mobile, do exist. And also on mobile um, with Google AdSense, they, they make the content kind of look seamless with everything else that's on there. Um, so it is a good way to scroll and look and say, okay, you know, maybe they're looking at something, they're saying, oh, that looks interesting, and then they click on it you'll just make that whatever, quarter, 30 cents, whatever it could be. It could be more money too. Um, and you'll be able to profit off of that. Uh, so always remember that mobile first, when you're designing for ads and ad optimization, think about mobile first. Think about what the user's looking at, what the content is, and where to place those ads very strategically so that they may be looking at something and then right below that can be an ad for something talking about the paragraph above it. So they're like, oh, that's exactly what I want. They click on it you'll make the money um, and they won't even realize that that's not part of your website. They go to another website, then they'll probably honestly click back because they'll say, oh, that wasn't the right thing. And they'll click back and then you'll still make the money. So easiest way to start. If you have a website um, and you already have a website, what I would say the best way to start with Google AdSense, first you have to apply obviously, but once you have started with it and you have, you have your account approved, Go into there and choose, go into Google Analytics um, or Google uh, Search Console and look at your top three to five trafficked pages, your top three to five pages that have the most traffic. Look at those and then put ad units manually onto those pages, just the three to five most traffic pages. You're doing that because what you're, what you're trying to do is you're trying to understand how much you can earn per 1,000 visitors. If you're wondering, well, how long should I wait until, you know, how many visitors per month? I would say you probably want five to 10,000 visitors per month before you even think about AdSense. It's not really worth it otherwise. Um, it's just gonna be, kind of make your website look not very good, to be honest. Um, so usually if you wait for around five to 10,000 people, you can start to get a little bit, but just choose your top three to five and you do that and then you'll know how much is it that my website generally can earn per thousand visitors, right? Which is a great thing because when you have that data, then you can say, okay, uh, you know, let's say I make, uh, I don't know, $15, $15 per 1,000 visitors. And the normal range, if you're wondering, it, it probably fluctuates somewhere between like 10 to maybe like 30, $35 on the really high end, but it's usually like 10 to $30 in that range uh, per 1,000 visitors. So once you know that number and you have that, then you can say, okay, you know, I can test out my main pages, my top three to five pages, which usually have about 80% of your traffic, test it there, find out that number, and then decide, is it worth rolling this all out right now to make 20, 30, $40 a month instead of let's not roll this out yet, let's keep building it, growing it, getting it bigger, and then I'll throw those ad units on once I'm getting, you know, 10,000 visitors a month. And then you're, you know, if you're talking about, you know, you could be 100, 200, couple, you know, $300 a month, uh, which is much more significant. So lastly, if you don't have a website yet, that is no problem. Um, you can click, again, click on the cards. You can click on the card above. Um, and I actually, it'll take you to something that I have put together to help you actually get started. Um, and you can go through that and you can get uh, started today. So if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, leave your comments because I'm, I'm working on AdSense right now. Um, I've been doing this for a very long time. I've actually been really quiet on the internet in general. Uh, I haven't been talking about a lot of the stuff that I do, and I've decided to kind of take, take the veil off, right? And I'm going to start talking about this a lot more. Um, but to sum it all up, yeah, there is a lot of money in Google AdSense, you guys. Uh, a lot of people don't talk about it and say, oh, Google AdSense is dead and it's all about Amazon affiliate and nothing wrong with Amazon affiliate. I like Amazon affiliate. Um, I'm a fan of using Amazon affiliate and Google AdSense combined. Uh, but that being said, it's far from dead. Uh, this year, like I said, I'm making, well, we're at $80,000. We're in uh, August uh, in this year right now. And not to say that you can get this way overnight. I've been doing this for five years. As I said, you can look at my income reports to see how long I've been doing it. Um, but it is possible to make significant money with Google AdSense. Um, you know, I, I, and, and the truth is I make like, you know, 10 to $12,000 a month. 
the bigger websites out there with millions of page views probably blow me out of the water. 50, 100, 200,000 dollars a month, I'm sure is not that I'm counting. Um, but I am someone who's smaller and honestly, I'm like you. So any questions, again, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, like the video. Thank you for watching and make sure that you check out the full playlist on Google AdSense on my YouTube channel. Thanks and have a good one.